arriving in port, Christine Lagarde looked relaxed. The head of the International Monetary Fund is on trial in Paris over her role in a multi-million dollar French state payout to French business tycoon Bernard Tapie in 2008. At the time, Lagarde was France's economy minister under the then president Nicolas Sarkozy, who was close to Tapie. She's accused of negligence and a misuse of public funds, claims her lawyers deny. Madame Lagarde uh, answered the questions one by one, and uh, I, I think that nothing that came out today is a surprise to anyone. It is clear that uh, she acted in good faith. Uh, she was acting in the interest of the state, and she relied, as so she, sh she should, on her uh, advisors and members of her ministry. The trial will examine why Lagarde approved an out-of-court settlement to resolve a long-running dispute between the French state and TAPI why she sent the case to an arbitration panel rather than a regular court. In the courtroom, the judge asked Christine Lagarde if she wished to remain silent. Lagarde answered that she wanted to speak. Even before coming to this trial, Lagarde had said that she wanted to defend herself. Lagarde's lawyer said his client had given up her right to immunity from prosecution as IMF chief to appear in person. Christine Lagarde wants to set aside the accusations which are levelled at her. She wants to contest them. She has physically come here in person. She'll be here for the whole of the trial. A panel of judges and French lawmakers are hearing the case. The trial continues until December 20th. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.